първи, уважаеми госпожи господарки министри, депутати, областно управление, вашите разходителства, госпожи господа посланници. Добре дошли. През тази година се навършват 110 години от установяване на дипломатическите отношения между Съединените щати и България. А само преди седмица започна втория мандат на президента Обама. Последните 23 години са днеска на най-насипения период на революция и разцвет в политическо, военно, економическо и културно отношение на отношението между Съединените щати и България. И Атлантическия клуб през тези 23 години беше една интелектуална лаборатория, оформяща честно общественото мнение, а понякога е решението на политиците. През последните 23 години Съединените щати и България бяха пет пъти съюзници в пет успешни операции. Ковейд 90-та, Косово 90-та, Афганистан, Ирак, Ливия. А най-новият период в двустранните ни отношения мисля, че започна на 13 септември 2001 година, когато тогавашният министр-председател Сенал Сашко Дрогоцки написа писмото президента Руш, в което каза, че България, независимо, че не е поканена и не е член на НАТО, ще бъде фактически член на Альянса от след атаките с Съединените щата на 11 септември. От тогава нататък България се присъединява към НАТО, изградихме отстранните българо-американски военни съоръжения. Съединените щати помогнаха на отстранния формат с Европейския съюз за освобождаването на ракотистите медици в Лазибия. И Съединените щати направиха най-голямата в историята на отстранните отношения инвестиция в ЕС в Белгоди. През тези 100 години, наистина, през тези 100 и през 10 години имахме и най-голямата българо-американска конференция, на която аз съм разведал, това беше честно и особоличното от странните ни отношения през 2003 година. Но днес сме с посланника на Съединените щата, госпожа Мерсилис, с която няма да разсъждаваме върху миналото на нашите ни странни отношения, а ще говорим за бъдещето на тези отношения и тя наистина е един от най-компетентните възможно политики по тази тема. Посланник Мерси Рис е виш дипломатически служител с забележителна кариера в държавния департамент в Европа, в Близки изто, в Перифер, в Ирак, ООН и НАТО, стратегически контрол на уръженията, носител на множество престижни награди. От вчера госпожа Рис има и нов началник. Това е моят стар колега и приятел Джон Керри, който му беше колега като председател на външната комисия на Американския конгрес. След малко ще представим госпожа Рис по един много, според мен, правилен начин. Ще взем най-оригиналното възможно представление на госпожа Рис. Но преди това искам да благодаря на няколко компании от Американска търговска камера и на самата Американска търговска камера, които отпомогнат на днешната лекция. Това е Алан Леви. Почетен консул на България в Лос-Анджелес, София Тишман Център, Ерпол Център, Мегатрон Джонгия и в Такша Хан, Дърби Прешес Медвец, Алекс Нестов, господин Владимир Тенков, Тенков и Марко, Вигакон, Ика, Андрея Петваров, Ревия Викторов, Милекс Манолиги, CMS, Камер Кенкена, колеги в Анджа и Виза и на последно място, Security, тук се предоставя от Белта Форс, на Пусерик Сепири. Това стана модна дума, но аз съм няма всъщност, че това няма да бъде забързо. С тези няколко дни искам да помоля да включим видеото, ако му лично. I'm here at one of my favorite places in Washington, D.C., the Lincoln Memorial. Abraham Lincoln was one of America's greatest presidents and an unwavering defender of human rights and democratic freedoms. These are values I'm taking to the soil. I have been honored in the last several years to lead two U.S. missions in the audience and to serve as the deputy negotiator of the Arms Control Treaty with Russia. As ambassador, I will be drawing on my previous experiences to introduce 
more Americans to the benefits of doing business in Bulgaria, to expand our security cooperation, and to support Bulgarian efforts to improve their own system of justice, and to increase our knowledge of each other's cultures and histories. My family and I love to hike and sail. We take advantage of the opportunities around Washington, D.C. whenever we can. We're very much looking forward to exploring Bulgaria's mountains and seacoasts, to visiting your cities, and especially to learning more about Bulgarian art and music. Most of all, we're looking forward to meeting you, the people of Bulgaria. This forward. The Pilexere, as we are speaking, the Zambic Lexere is Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Solomon, for that very warm welcome. So, uh, distinguished guests, the Atlantic Club is a long time and valuable partner of the United States Embassy. <clears throat> Excuse me here in Bulgaria, and I am pleased to join the distinguished list of ambassadors who have spoken to your audiences. As many of you know, I arrived in Bulgaria at the end of September. I have spent the past four months meeting with Bulgaria's leaders, with representatives of the opposition, journalists, with artists, with students, and with representatives of civil society. In short, trying to get a sense of what Bulgarians think is important, and especially how we would like to see the relationship with the United States grow and develop. The United States and Bulgaria already enjoy a productive partnership that encompasses many, many fields. We work together on security and science, on energy and education, on the arts, and, ar and archaeology, to name a few. I mean, I'll depart from my text for a second to say that we even every year the U.S. undertakes a restoration of a Bulgarian building or artifact, and uh, we're hoping to expand in other areas, sports for instance. So in September of this year, as Solomon mentioned, we will celebrate 110 years of bilateral diplomatic relations. This is over a century of U.S.-Bulgarian friendship. The Roman philosopher and statesman Seneca said that one of the most beautiful qualities of true friendship is to understand and to be understood. That expresses very well an important goal of partnership and of diplomacy in general. We strive to understand and to be understood. But it's also true for countries to collaborate that they must have mutual interests. And for that collaboration to be sustained, they must have shared values. For the US and Bulgaria, these include a commitment to democracy, to a free market economy, and to equal rights for our citizens. We share a desire for our children to have more than their parents. We value education. We embrace modernity. We have a pride in our country's national endowments. In the case of Bulgaria, the mountains, the seaside, a history as long as that of civilization. Americans are proud of our national endowments as well. And like Bulgarians, we are concerned to protect them. I am one of those who continues to believe that Europe is the United States' most important partner. It is with Europe that we have our largest volume of trade and our biggest investments, and with whom we are partnered in the world's most important military alliance, and with whom we have a shared global perspective. I hardly need to remind this audience 
of the value of the transatlantic partnership, since the Atlantic Club played such an important role from the very beginning. Together, we are committed to keeping our alliance strong, to protecting Western democracies, to securing prosperity for future generations. It is these common values and common commitments that underpin the relationship between our two countries. Since arriving in Bulgaria, I have been listening to what the people of Bulgaria want from our bilateral relationship in order to make our joint work responsive to joint needs. As I have met Bulgarian citizens in Sofia and outside the capital, they have shared with me things they are proud of about Bulgaria, and in moments of candor, things that they would like to change so that their children and grandchildren can inherit a more prosperous, more secure country with strong democratic institutions. One of the messages that I hear repeatedly is that they would like more U.S. business cooperation and more collaboration. And we too would like to make that happen. Bulgaria is six years into European Union membership, has been a member of the NATO Alliance for nine, and it's on the path toward evolution into a mature European democracy. We envisage the role of the United States to be one of a supportive partner who helps Bulgarians to achieve your own aspirations. I'd like to talk a little bit first about security cooperation. The Atlantic Alliance, once limited, limited to the transatlantic space, has stepped up to meeting global challenges to the security of its members. Bulgaria has played a part in the alliance's activities in Libya in fighting piracy. We have worked together in Afghanistan, and after 11 years, we're beginning to wind down our commitment here. But the job is not done, and we need to take care that the investment we made, we made endures into the future. Working together as allies certainly bolsters our collective security, but it also has other benefits. It creates a lasting bond between Bulgarian and U.S. soldiers and interoperability between our two militaries. This has been vital in the Iraq, Afghanistan, and Libya conflicts, and will also benefit in future NATO operations. I had the opportunity in November to observe the certification of the first Bulgarian battalion battle group, and it was quite impressive. As your military works to stand up additional units, the United States will continue to be there to support the realization of your own plan for military modernization. Coping with the challenge posed by international terrorism is another shared commitment. Recent events in Algeria which involved hostages from eight different countries, taken by militants of at least four different nationalities, claiming to protest events in a neighboring African country, demonstrate the global nature of the threat and the need for collaboration amongst like-minded states, like ourselves, in countering it. The bombing in Burgos was another crime in which innocent people from another country were attacked here in Bulgaria. We are impressed by the professionalism and determination with which Bulgarian security experts have approached the investigation, and we await the results. Another very important facet of our partnership is collaboration in the field of energy. Assured energy supplies have been the necessary underpinning of mankind's prosperity since ancient times but more intensively so since the dawn of the Industrial Revolution and continuing to today. Disruptions of supply, unexpected price increases, or other events that limit the energy available for heat, for transportation, and every sort of economic activity can have serious consequences that affect all of our economies. That's why it's only prudent to seek diverse and reliable sources of energy. This is an area in which partnerships, for example, the various possibilities for the development of a southern corridor 
for the transport of natural gas hold the possibility of bringing new supplies over new routes to much of Europe. This is also an area in which a strong partnership between Bulgarian and American firms are paying some real dividends. For example, thanks to Westinghouse, the information and control systems at the Kozla Dewey nuclear power plant are state of the art and continue to provide Bulgaria with safe, affordable energy. Westinghouse continues to help Bulgaria explore options for expanding nuclear potential. For example, by doing a feasibility study for the proposed seventh reactor at Kosovo Dewey. The same can be said of the AES and Contra Global Clean Coal Plants at Maritza Istok, which together account for over 11% of Bulgaria's installed capacity for electricity generation. The owners of Maritza Istok 1 and Maritza Istok 3 invested hundreds of millions of dollars to ensure that these facilities meet the highest European standards for low emissions. Many residents of Star Zagora remember, remember the days when pollution was visible and led to disease and reduced lifespan for the residents. Thanks to the new equipment installed at Marissa Istock 1 and 3, these days are over. The American companies supply some of Bulgaria's cleanest energy. Together, they employ over 1,000 people directly and have a multiplier effect, creating over 10,000 jobs, most of which are in a part of Bulgaria that has an employment rate that is above the national average. As we look to the future, we see the potential for the United States to become a net exporter of natural gas. And I have to add that electricity prices for American consumers have dropped in the past year due to abundant natural gas from shale. In Texas, for example, consumers saw their electricity bills drop by 40% over the year between 2011 and 2012. It's up to Bulgaria to decide whether or not to develop shale gas, but if Bulgaria decides to develop its own significant potential shale gas reserves, the United States is ready to assist with the regulatory and technological know-how. Economic integration, promoting business, trade and investment, is another area we would really like to see grow in the coming years. <coughs> Our economies, indeed, indeed the whole transatlantic economic space, have faced some very serious challenges since 2009. There is no doubt. The signs are that we're beginning to return to a period of expanding economic activity, employment, and growth. To take advantage of this improvement, but also to support it, it makes sense to look for ways to promote bilateral trade and investment. Increased economic cooperation can bring needed capital for investment, jobs for local communities here, as well as new ideas, modern technologies. To give a concrete example, HP, IBM, New Boyana Films, and Johnson Controls alone employ close to 10,000 university graduates here in Sofia. They are here because the companies believe in the talent that exists in Bulgaria's workforce, and they believe in the country's future. The jobs they provide offer terrific opportunities for young Bulgarians to work here in Bulgaria in innovative fields, like, for example, computer-generated imagery, where they make the effects that contribute excitement and visual drama to blockbuster movies. They provide IT crisis management for major corporations around the globe. And they contribute, contribute to the development of new software and electronics for the vehicles of tomorrow. These companies and others in the innovative sectors form the cornerstone of a technology, technology cluster in Bulgaria that can grow and flourish if it is nurtured through partnership and cooperation. 
American and other international investors are stakeholders in this country's future, and they have much to offer in terms of technology and resources. It's in, it is my hope that in the coming years, we're going to see more American companies taking advantage of Bulgaria's affinity and desire, especially for high-tech jobs. Beyond the pure economic impact of American investment is the social impact. American companies have a strong culture of corporate social responsibility, and they bring this corporate value with them when they go abroad and create lasting and meaningful change in the communities they support. Here in Bulgaria, these companies have banded together to create programs such as the American Chamber of Commerce Volunteer Days, when employees go out and work on projects around the country. Going forward, I hope to see many more American companies attracted to Bulgaria by its highly skilled workforce and their beneficial tax conditions. For companies to come here and thrive, though, we really all need to work together to promote an atmosphere of openness, predictability, and partnership in which business truly has a voice in the country's economic vision. There are ample opportunities for U.S. investors and exporters to expand in Bulgaria, but part of growing foreign investment will be taking steps to ensure that Bulgaria continues to be seen as an attractive location where rules are consistent and consistently enforced. Trade between our two countries amounted to $643.3 million in 2011, and could expand even more with the introduction of better intellectual property rights protection, including of copyrights. Now, I know that my saying this will not be popular with some, but it's just a fact of economic life. One last point on economic cooperation, and that is the current discussion of a U.S.-European free trade agreement. As the U.S. Special Trade Representative said this week, President Obama is committed to reaching an agreement to smooth trade with the European Union. So, all acknowledge that there are going to be some tough hurdles to overcome. I'd like to speak now about perhaps the most challenging and sensitive part of our relationship, <coughs> our work together to combat organized crime and strengthen the rule of law in Bulgaria. In recent years, we have identified drug trafficking, excuse me, cyber crime, ATM skimming, and other economic crimes as priority areas for law enforcement cooperation. Collaboration between our respective law enforcement services is excellent in these areas and is producing concrete results in both our countries. This, in turn, has persuaded the U.S. government to significantly increase our resources for joint law enforcement activities here in Bulgaria. Fighting crime, though, is a lot more than policing. It requires an able and efficient prosecution service, as well as a determined and impartial judiciary. Recent events have demonstrated that there is considerable interest in Bulgaria in having a prosecution service and a national judiciary that can truly uphold the rule of law. And there has been progress in that regard. The selection of the Supreme Judicial Council, as well as the Prosecutor General, involved a serious examination of the credentials of candidates and were conducted in a more transparent manner than before, although there is still room for improvement. But most important will be whether those selected will institute needed reforms. There's a lot of work to be done. The U.S. is committed to assisting Bulgarian efforts to reform the legal system so that the process of administering justice can be efficient and effective. But ours is a supporting role. The impetus and the energy has to come from Bulgarians. Going forward, we plan to continue our engagement on strengthening the rule of law. We are bringing prosecutors and judges to consult with counterparts and to share experiences. 
In the past year, members of the Specialized Court for Organized Crime and the Ministry of Justice traveled to the United States for a week of consultations with their counterparts in our federal criminal justice system. We have identified subject matter experts who have come to Bulgaria to assist the Ministry of Justice as it drafts new legislation. We are training law enforcement officials at the FBI Academy, as well as through the International Law Enforcement Academy, or ILEA, in Budapest. And both our FBI and Drug Enforcement Administration have sent agents to work side by side with Bulgarian counterparts. But of course, the key ingredient for success here is going to be your determination, the commitment of Bulgarian officials and of civil society to make needed reforms. There is no doubt that a key factor in the effective functioning of a healthy democracy is the strength of civil society, especially NGOs. At the onset of Bulgaria's transformation, civil society was virtually non-existent. We're proud of having helped to develop organizations that work in such diverse areas as protecting the environment, developing a market economy, protecting human rights, and safeguarding the rights of workers. Today, Bulgaria's NGOs are many, active, and influential. One good example is the forum in which we find ourselves today. From its founding in 1991, the Atlantic Club has promoted the transatlantic relationship and now goes way beyond its original purpose. It's now fostering education and discussions not just about security issues, but about a whole range of topics affecting the region and beyond. In the final analysis, our strong bilateral relationship is much about much more than any single institution, business deal, or any negotiation between our two governments. Our most important ties extend well beyond the walls of my embassy and your foreign ministry. They are the people-to-people -people connections that give our relationship its depth, its warmth, and certainly that will sustain it into the future. To date, the U.S. government has brought more than 2,000 Bulgarians from all walks of life to the United States to participate in a wide range of exchange and visitor programs. These include everything from the Fulbright program, in which scholars and students study and conduct research in the United States, to the Kennedy Luber Youth Exchange, which is a year-long program for high school students. I can say that the list of prominent alumni of these programs reads like a who's who list of notable Bulgarians who have contributed much to the growth and the development of this country, and we're proud of that. We invest significant resources in these programs because both sides benefit from Bulgarian professionals and leaders from all walks of life engaging with our professionals and leaders. Every Bulgarian who participates is an ambassador of Bulgaria to the United States and enriches our understanding of your country in a way that no diplomatic message ever could. The same is also true of programs that bring Americans to Bulgaria. I want to mention our summer work travel program, which is also thriving, with over 7,000 participants in 2012 alone. I would like to see this program continue to grow so that it can remain a key tool for facilitating the exchange of ideas between us. I am committed to increasing the number of exchanges in both directions. To that end, the Embassy and the American Chamber of Commerce organized Discover US, an exhibition promoting study and travel in the United States on March 7th at NDECA. This will be a great opportunity to learn a lot more about what the United States has to offer. I think the better Americans know Bulgaria and Bulgarians know the US, the more productive can be our partnerships at every level. I want us to reach out and connect with all Bulgarians, regardless of class, or religion, or sexual orientation, or ethnicity. 
The direct exchange of ideas, of information, skills, and best, best practices is essential to bringing nations closer together. It is also essential to fostering the deep ties and the trust that is necessary for politicians and diplomats to address together difficult political and economic challenges. Ultimately, the future of the U.S.-Bulgaria partnership will depend on our citizens. Our official programs and partnerships can lay the framework for cooperation, but it is the networks that develop and the actions of individuals that make these things a reality. As American anthropologist Margaret Mead famously said, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. I'm optimistic about Bulgaria's future and convinced that our partnership is well worth the work that both sides have put into it and will put into it. And as I said when I began, we are allies and transatlantic partners. But our most important ties are our commitment to democracy and fundamental freedoms and to creating a better future for coming generations. These are the fundamental reasons why we value our partnership with Bulgaria and why we want to make this partnership even stronger in the coming months and years. Thank you very much. Thank you, Madam Ambassador. Thank you, Mercy. Uh, I was deeply impressed by your insight, and I'm sure that uh, your speech will open a lot of questions for the future, not so many for the past. Among uh, uh, many bilateral issues, I was uh, uh, deeply uh, impressed that you highlighted the negotiation between the United States and the European Union for free trade. I think that this will be a great idea. Moreover, if we can expand it to a, a transatlantic free trade area, this could be the uh, next economic cause uh, on the earth. Gospodja Ries, which we can announce, is the president of the Russian Prosy, the National Prosy, and the Gaiskan, the Kazuchi, who is very much the president of the United States, the President of the United States, the President of the United States, Страна-кращата-кращата-кращата-кращата-кращата-кращата-кращата-кращата-кращата-кращата-кращата-кращата-кращата-кращата-кращата-кращата-кращата-кращата-кращата-кращата-кращата-кращата-кращата-кращата-
I, I mentioned that uh, working together in real situations uh, like Afghanistan, but also uh, training together, and really helps us to cooperate better in the future and to uh, really work on interoperability, both with the United States and uh, with Bavaria's other alliance members, uh, alliance partners. So I think that uh, these activities are uh, extremely valuable, and we can expect uh, that we will both all be uh, working better together in the future as a result. Uh, Afghanistan. Това, което ни интересува България, кога ще патрой без визи до САЩ? След като имаме патройните на афганистанската общност България, обереме съм, че ще се представя. Историят и въпрос, тъй като прести 2014 година, надявам се, че международният общност и АИСОФ ще потегнат от Афганистан. Дали ще бъде поставен на афганистанските въоръжени сили тежко въоръжени, бойни самолети и тежка атрибета? Благодаря ви. Мисля, че на България може да се говори на нещо. Благодаря от нас е. The, the visa waiver program, I'm, I'm going to address this in terms of Bulgaria. Um, the uh, visa waiver program is uh, as of interest in that regard. And I, I want to say that the U.S. government is committed to the expansion of the visa waiver program, and the president has expressed his support for, uh, for proposed legislation. Uh, but I want to make a distinction between that proposed legislation and the legislation that we are, the rules that we're living with today. This is a, a rule-based program with specific criteria, and travelers uh, and countries need to meet that criteria in order to uh, uh, enter into the program. And uh, that's the basis on, on which we, we have to work. And, uh, in Afghanistan, uh, really the headline goal for us has been training and building the capacity of uh, Afghan forces and, uh, and uh, police elements to uh, maintain the peace there. And I think that that will be our biggest, biggest contribution in the future. My Kostadinova is the best of the и тук имам бележка, че искаш да зададеш въпроса, ако не е така, даваме тук думата на госпожата в Топор Зорица. Благодаря. Благодаря, господин Пасин, че това да поднамате и на кого да мислите. Милиана Донов сте радио правиле. Госпожа Марис, слушам внимател на доклада ви и това беше максимално дипломатично. Вчера на средствата на американските търговски камъни обаче за мен означава една тревожна новина. 
Министр председателя Дзервич е евроатлантическото сътрудничество между Съединените Американски щати и България е възможно да приключи на 7 юли деня, в който ще се проведат според него следващи парламентарни избори, ако ГЕРБ не получи на другото единство. Моля ви за един по-конкретен отговор, защото за хората, които искаме да бъдат сътрудничество и да има между нашите две страни, е важно. Този ми въпрос е свъртан с това, което вие оценявате като ефективна реформа в съдебната система и ефективна борба с престъпността. Последните дестина дни оборват това. Имаме два знакови опита за убийство в подложието на ръката на главния прокурор, съдебната глава и в сърцето на София Национална Голеса Култура. Моля ви да се ангажирате и да ви ще посъветвате правителството да предприеме малко по-категорична и ефективна би казала помощ към нашата държава, за да се постигне наистина резултата в съдебната система, като реформа и глобатска стъпността. Има трето място да допитам, защо изглеждахте въпроси за свободата на медиите. Не споменахте ли, че този доклад репортери без грани си не сложиха вече на 80-та място. Ще ме не са със 10 пункта. Това е третия въпрос. Има ли още? Иска ли как да ви попитам, дали ще имате възможност да направите поне една ефективна международна конференция с Лъга на Словно България, като това е най-добре? Тега. Тега. All right. Uh, well, let's take the first question first, the question of the U.S.-Bulgaria relationship. I, I've talked a lot about the relationship and how it operates on so many levels and how it depends a great deal on relationships between individuals, professional groupings, and, and all sorts of things. We have had a long relationship for many years that has extended over many years, and we certainly fervently hope that it will extend many years into the future and uh, that we are in fact building a framework for expanding it in, in a lot of different ways. So I, I'm very optimistic about this relationship continuing and being strong in the future. With respect to, um, to uh, the events of recent days, um, well, I think um, I, I agree. I certainly agree that uh, these events are troubling. Uh, violence is, uh, is really never the answer. Uh, political points should be made by uh, political statements. But these, uh, these events certainly do require rapid response by law enforcement and, and by the judiciary. And people certainly have a right to expect that. I think that's a reasonable expectation. Uh, media freedom. Uh, I actually have talked a lot publicly about media freedom re recently. Uh, as you mentioned, and maybe I, uh, I just considered that I had said a lot about it. Uh, and, uh, but it certainly is an important commitment uh, on my part and on the part of my mission. We think that uh, media freedom is, is a very important uh, factor in the healthy functioning of democratic institutions. It's especially uh, it's especially important uh, in an election year that there be a dialogue on political issues as we had in the United States uh, for our election. I mentioned that in talking to journalists, uh, they have mentioned to me that they felt under at times under political or uh, economic pressure and that this resulted in something called self-censorship, which uh, is not a good thing. So uh, I think uh, we uh, support work in, uh, in the area of improving that situation. Thank you very much. Аз бих избавил и още някои, които не са за подминаване, като Airport Sofia Center на Ишман, ама не е тук. Той е отличен сграда на годината за 2012 година в сегмента Зелени сгради. 
мегатрон джонгли е с Итак Шахан и Витън Витреш с Металс, които развиват наистина впечатляваща геологическа дейност в България. И смятам, че всяка една от тях се служава да влезе в листа на първите компании в сътрудничество в развитието страни. Една млада дотържа, която е седнала през едно място от заместните министра Костина Царикова и пред посланник Здрав Кокопов, дигна ръка да се представя, така че е тук. Добре вечер, господин Ернан Копан, Гръщата Фаундейшн, промоутинг контрпренерши в България с 2007. Ще да споделя нещо позитивно за това, което се случва в нашата страна, защото има много такива неща. И, в particular, нашата инвестиция с NASA Space Up Challenge 2030. Uh, this is a two-day uh, technology development initiative organized globally uh, and uh, it is about uh, cooperation between citizens uh, from around the world um, um, who, who will address uh, current challenges in both spheres of uh, uh, space law and um, uh, citizen uh, issues. Uh, so, uh, Sofia for the first year is uh, one of the 50 locations in the whole world that will take part in this uh, global challenge. And I want to ask you, um, uh, what, uh, what is the role of uh, the cooperation between our governments in supporting um, and stimulating the exchange between um, our uh, countries in the sphere of uh, technologies, uh, know-how and um, innovation uh, best practice? Thank you. Благодаря. Както виждате, Космос е една от най-популярните виселенци в България. Но да не забравяме и Антарктида. Благодаря. Аз съм много впечатлена. Аз всички да слушам за интересни НГО-типи активности. И това съвсем звучи като един. Uh, we do a lot, as I mentioned, we do a lot of exchanges uh, between the United States and, and Bulgaria and uh, the summer work travel program, for example, gives, uh, gives a real chance for young uh, Bulgarians to work in the United States, but also to travel meet people and uh, talk about different things. We, um, We would like to promote uh, even more in the high-tech sector. That's an area of business that we would really like to promote. Uh, it's certainly a subject of interest here, uh, and, it's a and it's a subject of strength. I was visiting at the American College uh, recently and talking to some young students there who had racked up some really impressive credentials in international competitions in math and science. So uh, it's certain that there's a reservoir of talent here, and uh, that is something which uh, attracts uh, business and uh, should continue to do so in the future. Благодаря. Не знам защо на дясната страна е много по-активна днеска. Дали е резултат от референдно на Елена Бюджа? Е много малко е вече с дълги коси, което не може да е. Не се обръщайте на зад, но аз говоря. Благодаря ви, господин Паси, Пети Козева, телевизия АФА. Вашето насходителство, поздравление за чудесната реч, съвсем дипломатично много неща казах като други не. Първият ми въпрос е във връзка с въпрос на колежка Плодоновска. Интересно ми е относно случващото се в България в последните 24 часа, последната седмица и половина точно на Свистиция, когато сте взето. Привикновения български граждани е в опасност и под обстрела. Никой не поема отговорност. Как вие предавате случващото се в България? Не на политиците, а на близките си в САЩ. И втория ми въпрос на 15 януаря, ако не греша. Пред Американското посолство имаше протест във връзка с 69 години от антиамериканските бомбардировки в Ософия, които са избити на 4 души. Политическа партия е така, дадат на вас обидно специална декларация, но до момента няма толкова за промахване на паметните на американските лици. 
и помолиха за поне едно извинение. Днес от труда на време на война е било с такива работи. И как се чувствате? Първо, вие тук в България. Благодаря. Okay, well, um, on, uh, on developments in uh, recent days, um, I, I, I really don't think that we've returned to the bad old days of uh, contract killings and, and the kind of lawlessness that Bulgaria suffered from in the past. Um, that said, recent events are uh, troubling, and as I as I mentioned before, um, the thing that 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 really ha that ha has to happen here is that we have to have a rapid response, and it looks like we are going to have by law enforcement and uh, by le and through legal process, and that is the way that societies uh, deal with. Uh, incidents like this, and um, that's what that's what should and has already begun to happen. So um, I think uh, that that's certainly the way I would describe it. Um, <coughs> oh, yeah. um, on uh, on the demonstration, um, I um, we we respect the right of people to. Um, peacefully uh, express their views, and uh, uh, and this group uh, had a little demonstration across the, uh, from the U.S. Embassy. We also uh, think we, we have, um, we reserve the right, as, as any country does, to honor our war dead. Uh, that's something that nations do. Um, if this group wants to do something uh, for Bulgarians, and that's a question that should be uh, addressed to the Bulgarian government. Благодаря ви, наистина имаме добри юристи в България, когато става дума за правоохранителна дейност, юридически съвет могат да предпределят много хора, виждам тук и на първата маса, пред нас е господин Владимир Пенков, пред другата маса с CMS камера на Кена. Юристи имат ли то добри? Въпросът е, как действаме и какви енергични методи приемат правителствата. И в Съединените щати стана, стана стрелба в едно училище и то не е за пръв. И президента Обама предложи закон, с който да се ограничи разпространението и потребата на обезнелно мръжение. Това е което искам да видя повече в България и смятам, че в това отношение ние можем да се получим от Съединените щати бързата реакция, която да предотвратява повтарянето на един инцидент и поне да минимизира възможността той да се повтори. Сега, кой ще зададе въпрос за бъдещето? Кой задава за бъдещето? Заповядайте, вие сте много енергичен, много ви моля, кратък въпрос за бъдещето. Съвсем кратък въпрос. Ваше правоприятие, така го се казва Мейков, ви поставихте на второ място след сигурно въпрос за сигурността, въпросите да се включат на властта на Мейков. Най-вероятно, не случайно дипломатически език ще допозваме точно от там този въпрос. Въпросът ми е следния. Във връзка с развитието на взаимоотношенията, които вие като посланник ще промотирате, как разглеждате България в бъдеще, като място, в което ще се срещнат геостратегическите противоречия на Съединените американски щати и Русия, или като страна, която би могла да помогне за едно бъдещо енергийно сътрудничество, името на това чисто и по-сигурна планета. Благодаря за въпроса. И за отговор да си ми да познаваме. Това е въпроса, която има много възможности. Да ми започнем с това, че ми взема енергия, защото ми взема, че енергия е възможността. Ми взема, че възможността е възможността. Ми взема, че възможността е Roots are important. And then I mentioned uh, that we have already quite a few American companies who work here in the energy sector. And uh, thinking about the future, uh, we certainly hope that there will be more of that uh, and uh, that we will certainly contribute to uh, development of uh, Bulgaria's capacity to produce uh, its own and, by the way, clean energy. So that's. Uh, 
and that's a positive, and I hope that right now we are building the basis for uh, cooperation well into the future in this field. Да, но и от тези важни области виждам хора представени на първите маси. Виждам пика на Андрей Качаров и за IT, за което говорихме до преди малко. Директ на Манолиги. Изобщо по-предните бизнеси седат на по-първите маси. А, с това искам да окоръжи бъдещите спонсори на политическия пункт. Лявата страна отново е плачелива, а тя са тези пъстри да се вдигнат и ръце, заповядайте. Кратък въпрос за бъдещето. Кратък въпрос за бъдещето. Благодаря ви, господин Васи. Цитарина Борисова се казвам от телевизия ВТВ. Ваше превосходителство. Ще лобирате ли за добива на чисто газа в България и какво ще не направите, какви ще бъдат вашите следващи стъпки за махане на мораториум? Както знаете, има мораториум върху този вид повече на енергия. Благодаря. Много ми хареса и въпроса, и още ми ще ми хареса. Well, um, I, I would say first at the top that the decision about shale gas is one that Bulgarians will take, uh, and uh, we hope that this decision will be taken on the basis of, of a discussion of uh, science and uh, environment and all the factors that you want to consider uh, uh, in this area. Certainly there was uh, a good discussion of many aspects of, uh, of uh, the production of shale gas in the United States uh, when we undertook to uh, begin to produce shale gas ourselves. And uh, as a result of that experience, uh, we learned a lot, uh, and now we have an industry that employs a lot of people and uh, has really reduce the price of energy. And uh, we learned a lot about uh, regulatory structures as well. So um, we are available to provide information about our own experience. Uh, we have scientists who are expert in this field, and people should choose to consult them. And uh, I think that's really uh, the proper role that we will play in this essentially Bulgarian decision. Thank you very much, Madam Ambassador. I have one question for you. This year we are celebrating the, uh, marking the 70th anniversary of the rescue of the Bulgarian Jews during the Second World War. Someone mentioned the war thing. And uh, we very much believe that uh, this was uh, a heroic act of uh, the whole nation. And uh, uh, we even have among ourselves a person who had used to be had a state in 1943. And uh, I want to uh, ask you, do you think that uh, the United States would support Bulgaria to be nominated for Nobel Prize for uh, rescuing the Bulgarian Jews? And I have a concrete idea. The President Obama himself is a Nobel Prize winner, so he has the personal right to uh, send a letter to the Nobel Committee in Austria and to nominate well, Solomon, that's not really the question. <laughs> um, and, uh, okay, take it as a request. <laughs> okay, I'll take it as a request. The Rossi. За погледайте, Лезия Борт, не знам, че ще се събрани които. Едно младо момиче с син Ловер, виждам. Казвам се Олова Сумова от Списки университет, Тима Тортицки. Бих искала да ви попитам нещо свързано с страничеството за сигурност. Бих искала да попитам дали е възможно трансформацията на военните бази в Иран, от двустранни в бази на НАТО, well, yes, um, it certainly is 
it, it certainly is our desire to uh, prevent uh, future conflicts. But I, I will say about the situation in uh, Iran that um, we really hope to address this uh, problem through diplomacy, but that uh, is not to rule out uh, other means of uh, solving. Но вы друг другу не вестете все случайно, вы не представляете проблему. Студенты друг другу не вестете меди. Подивайте за это. Вы же меди знаете, что это было лучше так. Хера, все. Thank you, I'm Alex Lashwood, student from the University of University of Florida. And I wanted to ask Mrs. Reese how far she believes we are away in terms of time from realizing a free trade agreement between the USA and the EU. And what are some of the obstacles that you mentioned in uh, hindering us on this path? We raised the problem now. Thank you. This is um, a subject that has been discussed for many years. Actually, um, I lived in Brussels uh, in the early 90s, and there was already a discussion of uh, the potential for, for such an agreement. Recently, there has been, the subject has arisen again, and as I mentioned, our our special trade representative who was talking about it the other day. Um, there are complicated issues, and he mentioned a couple of them, um, that would, would need to be resolved once we got into such a negotiation. We don't yet have such a negotiation. And one of them that he mentioned that will be challenging uh, is uh, certainly agriculture. I can mention agriculture. I have to mention that we have, uh, I guess, not only John Deere, but Sukhumar uh, Kuchiski, who is one of the most impressive Bulgarian agricultural um, experts. Do you understand? I do this thing that I have to understand. Universal thing that we need. Ваше правосудителство, казах се Елизабет Божинова от Университет за национално и световно стопанство. Моя въпрос е свързан с атентата в Бургас. Как Съединените Американски щати оценяват работата на българските специални служби? Благодаря. Аз слушах внимателно лекцията и мисля, че и последни клиз доста ясно даде оценка. Използвам, защото и заместник министра на вътрешните работи да подчертая това, че оценката беше тази, но и тя беше висока. Аз да кажа, че мисля, че българианите са продължени на много ефективен, прагматик, мифоникал начин, to try and uh, figure out uh, what happened there, and we really await the results of, of their investigation. Your Excellency, uh, Dr. Luis Coelho, uh, coming in the state of Bulgaria. I would like to thank you for the wonderful documents and the opportunity to help us in our country. Something that is extremely important is the satisfaction of the citizens and the feeling of the citizens and the feeling of the life in which we live. One of the leaders, for me, is the leader of the country. Устойчивото развитие на средата в Хоса Штатите. Въпрос му ова, по принцип, САЩ винаги е подкрепила и Американския институт на инфекции в нашите усилия, да покажем добрите практики. Какво възнамерявате, как можете да подпомогите нашата държава в тази насока? Една от причините, заради които младите хора напускат страната, е, че ние имаме страни дути по улицата, че нямаме тротуари. Има ли възможност с... Бога да забърна тук и какви ми... Това би имало много начало. Но от моя опит знам, че... Айдам, че това е вас. 
Мисълта ми е в САЩ има много добри спецификации, да не е виждам в разбрах документация. Разбрах в разбрах в ясен. Благодаря ви, но ние трябва сами да се запълним друг и това е категорично. Благодаря ви, господин, към САЩ ще се обърнете и към центъра. Започнах да се тревожа, че вашата ориентация е само в дясно, а пък имате центристи политическа бедграма. Ваше величество, ваше предсудителство, когато говорим за бъдещето, мисля, че е правилно да погледнем непосредствено пред нас. И това са националните избори на България, които се очаква да се проведат в началото на месец юли. От страна на опозицията има достатъчно данни, факти, които говорят за манипулации и за страх по време на провеждане на последните местни и президентски избори. Когато цитирате Сенека и важността за това да се разбираме, смятам, че днес и още повече в следващите дни в нашето сътрудничество, ние трябва да се учим един от друг и да се подкрепяме. В този смисъл готови ли сте с позиция, ваш ангажимент и надявам се роля в това да бъдат гарантирани честността на изборите, защото това е единствената важна предпоставка, която би гарантирала енергийните, економически, обществени, социални и всички други аспекти на нашето сътрудничество. Честността на изборите в България е тема номер едно в посланието и благодаря ви, Поли Тарасленко. Благодаря, Поли, благодаря. Заправяйте. Понеже казахте, господин, да си, че университет има предизвук на студенти и преподавателите да се разползват. Аз съм за към Елия Сенова. Имам един кратък въпрос към нейното предизвук на посланието Крис. Току-що започна втория мандат на президента Обама. Прочетахме какви са приоритетите на новото американско правителство. Мен по-скоро ме интересува какви са приоритетите на новото американско правителство в нашия регион на Балканите. Благодаря. И аз благодаря на вас, Сергей Дърбор. И question is in... Alright, well, the final question. Actually, to be serious, Um, exchanges between professionals is um, something that we really like to encourage. Uh, it happens that uh, right now we have an American prosecutor visiting and he has been, actually he has been coming for a number of years, he knows a lot of people here and uh, they have had really useful exchanges, he learned a lot, they learned a lot about, uh, about the challenges that face them in implementation of the law. So, I think that that kind of exchange is, is really valuable and we really hope to do more of that in, in many fields uh, uh, in the future. Ah, clean, fair elections. Um, the last elections, uh, I, if I recall correctly, the OSCE, which is, um, is an organization to which we all belong and hold in high regard, uh, deemed the elections here free and fair. But they made a number of uh, recommendations of improvements that could be made. I think that's a valuable list. Uh, it's definitely worth looking at, especially the priority recommendations. These are uh, mechanical changes that uh, could be made to uh, make the elections uh, more efficient and uh, and uh, better. So, um, and as far as um, Uh, how we know that elections are free and fair. In today's interconnected world, I was listening to Solomon at the beginning just talking about how connected we are here in this room today uh, via TV and Google Plus and uh, radio and many other ways. Uh, any election in any country is, uh, is going to be seen by uh, uh, people all over the world. So I do think that um, any election is really held on a world stage, and um, that's really an impact, important factor in, in knowing uh, whether it was conducted well. Of course, local observers uh, is also uh, something that some countries do, uh, and those are, those are the things that can be discussed. Ah, okay. Um, priorities in the region. Um, the Balkan region has has uh, been an area of importance to us 
for over many years, and and uh, what we really hope for this region is um, good, solid uh, integration uh, into uh, into European uh, institutions. Of course, that already occurred uh, in the case of Bulgaria, but we certainly wish that for for other countries in the region, and um, we plan to continue to work with them. Uh, to uh, speed this really coming to pass. Thank you very much. I am very happy to mention the OSC and the Bulgarian Union special sentiment that shows the organization. Since 2004, the Bulgarian president of the Union has been in the end of 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 the end. И няколко души споменаха въпроси, свързани с градска среда, архитектура и така нататък. И това ме провокира да повдигна една на една завеста на един следващ план, който отново е дойдал на американски хората, които сме да направим, от тези, които през тях ще няма да говорим много по него. Много бих не искали да направим представяне на това, което ще се строи на хората нула в Нью-Йорк заедно с колеги от архитектурния бизнес, но за сега само това ще кажа. Думата за въпроси, най-сетне лявата страна се проекти Мошко, заповядайте, до Ромео Чулако. Всички познават Ромео Чулако, фотографът с Бенитът Коси, който вече 23 години снима всички събити, всички важни събити в тази държава, на които са могли да са на позиторията на страната или визита на Атлантическия клуб при папата на Бенитът. Госпожо Фесуадник, вашият предшественик, много обичан от нас, Джеймс Лоблик, безрезервно подкрепваше министър-председателя на България Бойко Борисов в неговата политика. Вие подкрепяте ли също така министър-председателя Бойко Борисов и как оценявате политиката? Много силен въпрос. за учебниците по дипломатите. The partnership that we have on so many different levels, and that the things that that I'm going to be doing, I knew I've only been here four months, is is to try and expand that partnership in every way possible. And part of what we do is uh, work with people uh, directly, uh, work with experts, work with government officials. Uh, we're, I started out by saying that I. I spent a lot of my first months here trying to meet people from uh, every other aspect of Bulgarian society. So uh, that's really my answer, is that um, this is a very important relationship for us, and, and we really want to continue to work hard to make it strong and healthy. Thank you very much. Вдигнати ръце къде има, отново се виждам в дясно, аз ще ви кажа защо ви за по-добре в дясно. Защото зад хората от дясната страна има прозорец и на хората на прозорец те много ясно се виждат, но като от тяло има стена. Ето сега се взирам продължително и виждам вдигната ръка в средата, точно пред завесата. Точно пред завесата. Дори ще обедини няколко въпроса, всички, които са от цялата страна сега да се видим върнат. Добър ден. Професор Николай Натов, предводител на катедрата по международно право и международно отношение, към биологическия факултет на Съпинския университет с едините менталници. Ваше превъзходителство. Так виждате първищото сътрудничество между Съединените щати и Република България в отнаса на науката и образованието. Освен Добър Американската комисия за образователен момент Кубрек има и други възможности, така и виждате общо и конкретно за облучението по международно право и международно отношение на български студенти и специалисти в Съединените Штати. 
ръкопознаник и случайно опознава, нека да кажа, че професор Натус е един от най-стъпните специалисти от България по международно, по европейско право и един от конусите на проекта за космическото право в България. И изнезначението от това при Натантистия клуб още да беше доцент. А, да, още въпроси от тази страна, моля. За професор на Кочева Дигната ръка на млад човек с бял тишер. Благодаря ви. Казвам се Ян Димитров и съм студент в Колеж по телекомуникации и софтуер, специално с информатика. Но моят въпрос не е свързан с образованието в България, а с социалните дейности. Израснал съм от институция от 3 до 19 годишна възраст. И моят въпрос е. Първо съм благодарен и се радвам, че Съединените Американски щати са готови да отгледат консенсът в нашия университет в България. Но моят въпрос е, понеже има абсолютно много пропуски в социалните дейности, мислите ли, че по някакъв начин могат да бъдат подкрепени чрез проекти, програми и други чрез съвети на нашето социално министерство и дейности? Благодаря, Ян, може би също така и третия сектор, някакъв да се трябва да бъде изключен в това въпрос. Благодаря. От лявата страна и не, виждам една от дигната ръка, да го дарете. Плана ми върнал по знам, не го да се знам. Кратък въпрос, защото много да кажа. Ама ни въпрос. Това е въпрос, имам много да презна в интернета следси, да отивам да кънча виша ли ситуация на Сирия. Uh, in what is happening in Benghazi, in what happens now in Northwest Africa, uh, and the reluctance of many uh, Western governments to support more opposition in Syria, like uh, they did, uh, for instance, in Libya, what the United States and NATO should do, what do you think they should do, uh, uh, regarding the situation in, in Syria? And the second question is, uh, I noticed President Obama, in his uh, inauguration speech, he not only used the Bible of uh, Abraham Lincoln, but also of the Martin Luther King, and he spoke about uh, more, more tolerance, about the illegal immigration, and many other things. And many commentators uh, used to think now that there is a new wave of uh, liberalism. Would you elaborate on that new wave of liberalism in the United States? Thank you. Do you possibly to say the approach of the other side? Do you have to say that the other side? Благодаря да благодаря на Виваком и на Кривия Грикор Генка Дакова е сред нас от Константин Петрополос за тяхното шокерба и на Виза Краси Райчева сред нас със тяхно много много добър проект през видеото. Слушайте, госпожо Косланик, казвам се Иван Каналист, студент в Военна академия Георгия Ратовски. Забелязва се постепенното изтегване на американски части от Европа и се забелязва конструирането на много база от Австралия и увеличаване на някакво на САЩ в Австралия. Това значи ли, че Европа вече не е приоритет на САЩ номер едно и ще се пренасочва вниманието от Европа към Китай? Бих добавил към вашия въпрос, как се развива по-тарда да дава върна са палко ви Inclusion, so to say, in the NATO, NATO's audit of uh, Japan, Korea, Australia, and New Zealand, because uh, uh, what I see that much more logical would be not to create new defense alliances, but to expand the current one to become all inclusive. So, we have the next part of the chat, so we have the next part Okay, that, that's a lot of questions to remember already. So um, let's start with um, international law and, uh, and students exchange. Um, we do have some, uh, some kinds of thematic uh, exchanges where we send specialists in certain fields, as I mentioned, to go to the United States to meet with uh, their counterparts. Educational exchanges, uh, for the most part, are conducted by universities uh, within their own programs, and we 
Uh, we really like to help people out to identify those programs, to make proper application, and hopefully to succeed in being chosen to participate in them. And uh, so we are really very open, uh, the embassy that is, to um, providing uh, assistance and information in that regard. And I think there really is a very wide, wide choice in that area. Oh, yeah. um, social institutions in Bulgaria, and Solomon, you mentioned NGOs. Um, we um, have traditionally, and we continue uh, to support NGOs, and I think uh, they play a very big role uh, in promoting uh, social values, social justice, and uh, equal rights. So, and those are certainly uh, great importance, those values are of great importance to us. I mentioned in my speech that I think that that's really um, sort of the glue that um, holds us all together is shared values. So that's certainly uh, a central part of what we do and um, we certainly do put resources behind that. Um, okay. Um, on the situation in Syria, we certainly do um, uh, condemn uh, uh, the violence there, and there's been particularly uh, uh, terrible news and pictures uh, in the newspaper today. And um, I, I think I'm going to direct you to the statements of our new Secretary of State uh, coming coming on board now, uh, and uh, with regard to what we're going to uh, how we assess the situation in Syria. Um, on liberalism, Bibles, Martin Luther King, uh, Abraham Lincoln. Um, perhaps it's the case, and here I'm expressing a, a personal view, um, that we've all experienced some difficult economic times uh, in recent years, and I, that, I think, uh, compels us all to think about sort of basic values and how how we approach dealing with uh, with those challenges, and in the United States, we've just had um, a very, um, I would say, uh, a, a very thorough discussion of political issues and values in the context of our election, since um, we uh, uh, had really um, a lot of uh, public discussion, debates television programs, and so on. And um, I think, so I think that we, um, we really have had a discussion of the role of the state and, uh, in, and uh, just the problems of disparity in income and, and many other things. So if, if you were to describe that, I wouldn't describe that as a new liberalism. I, I guess I would describe it more as um, a debate, a very, uh, a very deep and intense debate uh, among American citizens about what they expect from their government and what role it should play and uh, many other, many social questions. Oh yes. Um, well, um, what we have described as the, um, has been described as the pivot to Asia um, doesn't mean a pivot away from Europe. Uh, it's still the case that um, we really have very significant military assets in Europe. We are bound together in a very important military alliance. So I, I guess I, the way I look at it is that the two things reinforce each other. Thank you very much. Сега можем да се ползваме да бъде ясно за страна, да вземем всичко, да се всичко. Окей, два. Окей. Това ви изказва два въпроса още, така че искам два студенти, които ще питат днес за бъдеще. Ето, една студент да ви изказва. И вие сте студент. Okay, here it is. 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 Okay,
Това са последните два въпроса за днес. И последните един сте добри, че няма да дава интервюта на излизане от тук, защото в залата достатъчно обилно отговаря на всички въпроси, така че ще ви бъдат благодарен за разбирането. Благодаря ви, господин Васили, който послава вашето господителство, понеже в момента, а и за бъдеще, ще живеете и работите в Европейския съюз. Искам вашето мнение, дава ли ви Европейския съюз някакъв срок на годност, тъй като виждаме и, че в Великобритания ще има референдум за и оставането в Европейския съюз, тъй като все повече държави почват да прилагат една, как да го кажа, национална дворна економика, ако стоите го, които се вчера нашия министр председател каза, че Европа е от угрозата да попадне в така щотно, в плен на национализма и нещо такова. Европейски съюз ще издържи ли това си? Благодаря ви. Ще издържи ли Европейския съюз? И последния въпрос на госпожата, която е госпожан в Вишнопенския втория ред, тя е точно до госпожа Светкова. Ето, загладайте. Казвам се Милена Крумова и съм докторант в Столя Докторатура в Технически университет, който е голямо предизвикателство. Уважаема госпожа Рейс, уважаеми господин Паси, днес много важен въпрос е за въпросът за Open Data, Open Gap и Open Education. В Америка има много добри практики в тази посока. Кое според вас е най-важното ключево с най-голям приоритет за България в тази посока, че последваме тази добра практика. Кое е най-важното ние да бъде на това? Благодаря. Sorts of data have made it ever so much easier. So uh, I know that uh, Bulgaria has already evinced an interest in e government and is working on it, and to the extent that can be realized, that would be a really big uh, step forward. Oh, and uh, finally, on, on, on the European Union, um, I would just say that. Um, The European, the partnership between the United States uh, and Europe and uh, cooperation between the United States and the European Union is, is very extremely important to us. Uh, personally, um, I have great faith uh, in this institution and the ability of Europe to cooperate. Uh, and um, I actually spent four years in Brussels um, where I uh, worked with the European Union and I guess I'm just a, I, I just confirmed in these views that uh, we'll all get through it and uh, maybe uh, a bit bruised and about, but, um, and, and of course people uh, in this last economic recession have suffered a lot and we have to uh, take account of that. But I do think that, um, I do have faith in, in all of our institutions uh, to cope with these serious challenges. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Ambassador. I had uh, one request uh, which I asked you to convey to President Obama. I have also one to convey to Future Secretary Kenny. As soon as we were seen, we uh, cordially invited him to deliver a speech to the Atlantic uh, Club as a number of his predecessors did. And uh, having said that, uh, she's super that the speech to us, the video is able to get the experience to just to put some of the people on. Ваше Величество, колеги, министри, уважаеми гости, да приветстваме и да благодарим на Марсири за това, което е.